Hello and welcome. In any workplace, there are countless things that can go wrong. Part of the goal of continuous improvement is to minimize risk, prevent accidents, optimize efficiency, and keep everyone safe. Bowtie analysis is a highly visual way to introduce risk analysis and can be made as simple or as complicated as you like. The name comes from the distinctive bowtie shape of the diagram. Bowtie analysis is a powerful risk assessment tool used to identify and evaluate potential hazards. It's used to help grasp the impacts of a specific hazardous event and determine the controls that should be put in place to prevent that event from happening. Occasionally, bowtie analysis can also be used to demonstrate positive risk. By positive risk, we mean a particular opportunity that has potential to add value or lead to various benefits. Having originated in the oil and gas industries, bowtie analysis is now used in all kinds of fields, including healthcare, aviation, chemical engineering, and more. Now that we have a general idea of what bowtie analysis is, let's take a look at how it compares to other tools, as well as how it evolved over time. Bowtie analysis is rooted in both fault tree analysis and event tree analysis. Bowtie analysis combines both approaches to create one well-rounded analysis. The left threat side of a bowtie analysis is essentially a basic version of a fault tree analysis. This is where we focus on the potential failures and identify how a hazardous event might unfold. The right consequences side of a bowtie analysis resembles a simple version of an event tree analysis. This is where we map the outcomes and consequences of a hazardous event. As you can see, Bowtie analysis shows where fault tree analysis and event tree analysis merge, linked by a singular top event. Another method to model the barriers in place to prevent a hazardous event is the Swiss cheese diagram. The Swiss cheese diagram is similar to a fault tree analysis in the left side of a bowtie analysis. However, unlike bowtie analysis, a Swiss cheese diagram does not illustrate the ways in which the harm and consequences can be minimized once the event has occurred. Another predecessor of bowtie analysis is causal factors charting. The concept of causality mapping is woven into the design of bowtie analysis as we model the relationship between causes, the top event, and its consequences. The bowtie diagram also shows the pathway between the controls and the escalation factors. However, in causal factors charting, the emphasis is placed on the incidents that have already occurred and only examines one pathway to a potential hazard. Overall, bowtie analysis is designed to be more proactive and prevention-oriented than other risk analysis tools. The goal is not necessarily to examine probability and frequency, but to ensure the controls we've put in place are actually working. Now that we've explained how bowtie analysis fits in with other tools, let's discuss the main advantages and disadvantages of utilizing bowtie analysis. The first advantage of bowtie analysis is that, unlike cause and consequence diagrams, bowtie analysis displays the full complexity of the situation. This means both sides of the top event are displayed in one diagram, as opposed to separately, like in fault tree analysis and event tree analysis. Existing controls and causal relationships are both modeled as well. The second advantage of bowtie analysis is that it's a comprehensive tool that can be conducted over and over again to assess what controls are treating what risks. The third advantage of bowtie analysis is that its visual nature makes it easy to see where there are gaps or deficiencies in the process. This comes in handy when it's time to decide where to invest money, time, and labor. While bowtie analysis is an incredibly valuable tool, there are two notable disadvantages or scenarios in which it may not be the best choice for risk analysis. The first disadvantage of bowtie analysis is that it is less suitable when there are multiple causes connected via complicated pathways, for example, and or gates. These gates are logic symbols that connect events and conditions. If two input events must both occur for an output event to occur, they are both connected by an AND gate. If only one of the two input events must occur for an output event to occur, they are connected by an OR gate. The second disadvantage of bowtie analysis is that it's less useful when risk and hazards need to be quantified. While it is possible to incorporate some degree of quantification into bowtie analysis, other tools may be more appropriate. 
In conclusion, bow tie analysis is a versatile tool that can shed light on all kinds of potential hazards in your organization. That wraps up our review of bow tie analysis. We'll see you soon.